Campus to tell you about this noon tragedy in Long Beach. A little boy struck and killed while crossing the street. Haley Winslow is live at the scene there with these details. Haley. Bobby, this is absolutely heartbreaking to say the least. There's a memorial set up here on Lakewood and 23rd here in Long Beach, and people have been coming by who didn't even know this little boy to drop off flowers. From talking to the neighbors, it sounds like what happened was this boy and his dad were heading to this park across the street. The little boy started to walk in the middle of the road when it wasn't safe, and the dad grabbed the little boy's shirt but couldn't grab him in time, and a pickup truck that was turning left on to Lakewood Boulevard, failed to yield, according to investigators, and hit and killed the little boy. Everybody around here has been crying all day. This happened yesterday, basically during 5 o'clock traffic at about 5.30 yesterday. Neighbors here saying that people are always speeding on this road. It's a constant problem in this neighborhood. 57-year-old man was behind the wheel of Riverside County. He was booked yesterday on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, but investigators do not believe that alcohol or drugs were a factor. Uh, it, it was heartbreaking. I mean, uh, she couldn't she couldn't walk. She was so in shock. Um, but um, uh, what can you do? I mean, I I I hugged her. I hugged the guy. Um, I told him, you know, come to my house, uh, sit down, you have some water. I don't know. You don't know what to do. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department say that James Barnes, the 57-year-old behind the wheel, did stick around. It was not a hit and run. But again, they do not believe that alcohol or drugs were a factor. He told police he just simply didn't see the little boy. We'll have more for you on this coming up tonight at 5. But for now, reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Haley Winslow. Bobby, back uh, to you. Just so incredibly sad. All right, Haley, thank you.